All right, let's go through a real simple house with power that we need to set up the controller with power injection, and we'll just show you guys how to run that. Here we just have a simple house. We have, we're have we gonna use one plugin for the whole house and go all the way around. We'll put the controller up here. We'll run power right and left using two outputs and two power injection lines. From the controller, we'll come around the side of the house, up the peak, down there, stop at that corner. Same thing with round back, up the peak, down the side, stop at that corner. We'll inject power, and this shows every 20 feet, but we're probably gonna go every 40 feet on this one. Same thing with the back, every 40 feet from the controller to the end of the run. We wanna set up our controller like this. We want to remove two LED outputs and insert two power injection lines. So what we'll do, I've already put one power injection line in the controller here, but we're gonna remove a second LED output and put in the second power injection cable. So they're 20 foot power injection cables. Um, we're gonna connect them to the controller and what we're gonna to wanna to do is the LED output that we use. So if it's the LED output, um, each so right and left. So there's two outputs on the right, two outputs on the left, and the two outputs on the left are fused with one fuse, and the two outputs on the right are fused with one fuse. So if we're running LEDs off of say that the left LED output, we're gonna to wanna to use the power injection from the output that's right next to it. So if you remove the LED output, make sure you hook the wires for the power injection cable into the same power terminals that you pulled the LED plug out of. So it's good just to pull out one LED plug and put the power injection cable into the exact same spots, pull out the second one and put the power injection cable in the same spots. The power injection cable codes or cables are red and black. Obviously red's gonna be positive um, black is going to be negative ground and there's no data wire so that'll just be left empty from where you pulled out the LED cable. Tighten those cable glands up real tight. You can torque those things right down. You're not going to hurt them. And you can kind of see that. And then once you cut from your 200 watt um, power supply that you're going to run to your controller. So that comes with 20 feet of cable off the power supply so you're going to want to figure out Okay, well, where do I, how much do I actually need? So once you figure out how much you need and where you're running to, you can uh, cut it, open up the casing. I didn't have my utility knife, but these little snips actually work pretty good. So just expose your wire, snip off that bit of casing, go, you know, you only need to go a couple inches back. You can use a utility knife to strip the wire, but only strip it back like half an inch the most twist them up there now you can grab the controller you can feed them through that uh, cable gland on the side that's already there and the the two big terminals on there for the power inlet to the controller are labeled positive and negative so just put the red in the positive and the black in the negative and then from there those two outputs are fused to your LEDs and your power injection so just tighten those up give them a little tug on the cord when you're done just to make sure that uh, it's nice and tight and then you're gonna to wanna to tighten that cable gland up to make sure it's waterproof. Sometimes the cable gland, if it's not super tight, it'll spin, so just hold the back nut when you turn it and just tighten her up real good. Grab a pair of slip joint pliers or a crescent or something if you need and just tighten it up. Like I said, I've torqued these things pretty tight and you've never, I've never stripped one, so. There. Now put the cover on. Just those four little screws, take them out, put them back in. There you can see kind of a rough layout. I got the wires out everywhere. Here, you can. it's good to hide the wires inside those little tiny crevices in your soffit. 
now you can see, so I've ran my first 20 feet from the controller. So those cables, those power injection cables that I have are 20 feet. So you could inject here, but really you don't need to, you can go every 40 feet. So I just added another 20 foot extension onto there and I'll just keep running. So when I get to the 40 foot mark, which 20 and 20 is obviously 40, then we'll be able to show you guys how to hook how to actually hook the power injection into the lights at that 40 foot mark there. So yeah, you can just, I always just run it right through and then push it up with the track. It's, you don't even really notice it there. It doesn't make the install any, any more difficult having that power injection cable there. Pop a couple screws in. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, so here we've got, this is the 40 foot mark. So that's that extension that I just hooked up there. I usually hold the cable there just to mark on the LEDs where I need to separate the two LEDs apart. And then you'll have these items. So starting from the left, you're gonna have the cable that hooks in between the LEDs, then your Y splitter for the power injection cable, and then another 20 foot extension. So I marked it on there roughly where it was gonna land, that 20 foot extension. I'll take that splitter, the power injection splitter, and hook it in in between two lights. So they just screw in there just like that. Then I got a DC barrel connector on the end there, which will plug because we're gonna continue this house is, this it runs gonna be over 80 feet. So we're gonna go another 40 feet from this point. So we're gonna have to add another 20 foot extension on there. So we're gonna need another 20 foot extension. And we're also gonna need a Y splitter to keep that, to be able to continue on down that line. So there's that Y connector. It's got two male DC barrel connectors and then one female on it. So plug the one into your light connection there to inject power into the track. Take the 20 foot extension, plug it into the other male connector there. And then the other female will plug into the existing power injection line inside the track. So now that I got that, that's that Y connector, plug it into the there. And then now you've done it, you've got You've injected power at that point. Now the tricky part is stuffing all of those cables inside the track. It's actually, once you do it once, it's it's not that bad. It's just a little playing around. But you can kind of get them in there roughly. And then when you push them up, just kind of take your fingers and just kind of push them in and, and then push the track up. Uh, the, the real trick to this is to make sure you got your drill and screws with you because once you get it up, which the first time I did this, I forgot the drill, and then the second time I did it, I forgot the screws. So, surprisingly, all the wires kind of stayed put. But it's a little, it's a little bit of a game to try and get all those wires in there. But it's doable. Just kind of push them, pull them back, push them forward, tuck them in. And even if you have on a little bit of slack on that one coming from the last track that's attached to the soffit there, you can just kind of fold it in half or whatever you need to do. Cause I got a little extra hanging there. If I'm playing a fiddle. Yeah, so I got a little bit of extra there. I just kind of folded it in half, tucked it in. Pushed it up, actually it wasn't too bad. Get it in there and then it's about this point i realize that i'm screwed because i don't have my drill yep oh there i cut to when i did have my drill i actually forgot my screws right after that so yeah pop a screw in there and I'm good to go I'll 
do a full install video on on this house just to kind of give you a start to finish install and then i just continued on putting up track so i came down that line around the corner and up the front and just keep putting that ex power injection cable in there and popping it up I think I added another, I think I got 20 feet, so this would be, I've already added another 20 foot extension onto here, so we're gonna go another 40. So I injected twice from the far corner of the house, I injected at 40 feet, and then I'm gonna inject again at 80 feet. And then there you can see the final injection point, all you have to do is plug that LED connector in there, and then plug the end of the barrel connector in there. You don't need anything else. And then you can see there, then I just plug my next track into that piece sitting there, and good to go and yeah it turned out great I got full almost full 12 volts at the end of the line there power injection were good I didn't get a picture of the night in the night but it looked turned out really good